Hi guys, I'm Marpreet. Welcome to another Bright Data integration video. Today we learn how to integrate Bright Data with Incognition for proxies. Incognition is a multi-session browser that can manage all your accounts in a single window. You must however secure your identity and overcome various types of anti-scraping restrictions deployed by your target website. This is where Bright Data comes in. With its various proxy solutions, you can successfully complete your scraping and automation tasks without raising any suspicion. Bright Data proxies integrate with Incognition so you can perform your job seamlessly. Let me take you to my computer screen and show you how. Head over to Bright Data, log in into your account and go to the dashboard. Click on proxies and create a zone. You can choose between data center, residential and mobile IPs. To automate any social platform like LinkedIn, you will need exclusive residential IPs. Configure and create the zone according to your project requirements. Click on the settings icon next to the zone name. From here, you can get the access parameters like username and password. We'll use this information with Incognition later for the integration. For data center zones, you will see this option download IP lists. You can copy the IPs from here and use them later with Incognition. Let me show you how. Head over to incognition.com. From the top menu, click on download. Choose the appropriate version as per your OS. I'll download it for Mac. Install and open the browser. Now click on the new profile button. From the left menu, select proxy. Connection type will be HTTP proxy. Then enter your proxy credentials in the given syntax. URL colon port colon username colon password. URL for the bright data proxy is zproxy.lum hyphen superproxy.io. In case you're using the proxy manager, then the URL will be 127.0.0.1. Port will be 22225. To get the username and password, head over to your Bright Data Zone settings. Copy and paste the username and the password. Once the syntax is ready, paste it and you'll see it will auto populate the username and password. Click on Check Proxy. Don't worry if you see an error connecting to the proxy, just click on create profile. In a while, you'll see the status as ready, then click on start and a new incognition window will open. You are now connected with Bright Data Proxies. To confirm, first open up your target website, like I'll open linkedin.com. Now head over to your Bright Data event logs and you'll see linkedin.com being registered here. So the integration seems to be working fine. That'll be all for this video. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my future content. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.